Well, what is going on today, guys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a couple of, um, let's say, tips and tricks on how to do some paint stuff. I've had some questions before where people have said, oh, yeah, how did you do this and how did you do that? You know, sort of, you know, sort of things I want to sort of clear up for everyone who's like got questions and everything like that. But um, yeah, we're going to we're going to jump straight into this. Hopefully it won't be a big one. But yeah, no, we're going to jump straight into this. So um, we've got a quick uh, thing right here. So we have a 240SX behind us here in a purple and a silver. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you guys how to do the um, different color things first, as that is also one of the questions that I have been asked recently, um, or like say in, in time and whatnot. So if you head over to the special colors, you can actually get these three colors right here. Now these are all two-tone uh, colors. So what you can do is you can press X and that'll give you like your base color. Um, for I can say, let's do, I don't know, let's do like a yellow here. Let's do like a yellow, that'll do. And then you can do a highlight, which is if you press Y, then that'll give you a highlight. Um, and then you can go ahead and change that to whatever you want. So like we can get a nice yellow and blue here. That looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, no, you could do that. Or you could do uh, you see the, the uh, saturation here put that all the way down to white which then it gives you the uh, gray black and white palette for the brightness so then you can go ahead and change that so that way it's now white and yellow or black and yellow or however you, um, however you guys want to want to use it you know what I'm saying so um, yeah we're just gonna go ahead and uh, change that back real quick uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. back to the blue there we go so yeah I just wanted to quickly uh, quickly show you that um, now obviously because uh, Forza has introduced some other little paint groups and whatnot as well that's this is a really good feature that I'm really glad that they did uh, involve so now we can change like obviously different colors of the rims and everything like that but I'm sure you guys probably already know that if you have been playing Forza and looked at all the different paint options that is in the advanced section if you didn't know just press the X button and then you can have a look at it like that um, yeah now moving on we're gonna keep the uh, we're gonna keep the blue and the yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jump into the vinyl section now. All right, so now we're at the uh, the vinyl vinyl group section where you put every all your you know your vinyl groups on the car. We're gonna go ahead and select a piece here. Let's go ahead and get a uh, go ahead, go ahead and get like a tear piece. That'll do. Where's that gone? There it is. All right, we'll go ahead and grab this. This is pretty cool. All right, so you got your sort of standard sort of piece that you can, you know, you can move around, you can change the side, everything like that. You can, you know, skew with it if you want to, um, everything like that. Uh, we're gonna, what I'm gonna show you guys here is a little little thing that I do usually with all of my paints. So we've got the obviously the base shape here. I'm just trying to fiddle with it here to get it across the car. So. You got the base shape here. What I like usually like to do is um, I like to have that as like the base piece for I'm gonna say for my my you like my paint, and then I'll go ahead and put something behind that. So like obviously cover the car in another vinyl group. So we're gonna go ahead and do that as well. I'm just gonna quickly uh, quickly do that. All right, so now we've covered the car, we're gonna go ahead and paste that on there so that way that vinyl group is in front of this one. So now when you change the color of this, that'll be in front instead of behind it. So that's that. all of that sort of stuff is sort of like your beginner sort of stuff, you know, that's the sort of sort of stuff that you should already really know how to do. That's, that's you know, it's quite obvious. Um, but this is uh, what I'm gonna go, get onto here. So we can now go, and, go ahead and change uh, this thing into a masked, uh, layer so as you can see that's just create a mask layer and now that cuts through the bottom piece into the uh, Main paintwork, which is what we did before which is the yellow and blue as you can see there on the screen And now changed colors from both side to side and that is one of the ways that you can do that uh, the old way of doing it was that you had to go around the entire entirety of the shape and um, Cut out like little bits and it was just crazy yeah, don't do that. It takes way too much time. Um, this is so much easier. But now, moving on from that, you can now do other things. Like what I usually do is I then make a uh, another a copy of that. So 
you just click on it change the position you press y to stamp it um then now it makes you a, another one and then i just change that from a mask layer into a normal layer and then you get rid of the mask layer there that's the that's the excess you don't need that so now you have two layers you've got the the mask layer which is the current one that's showing which you can see that's cutting through the main paint and then you have the other one which is just behind that which is exactly the same but you can't see it because obviously it's going to be behind that color but if we move this now as you can see that is actually coming out through the top so that now makes that a lot better it now makes it so you can see the actual shape itself i've just done a quick four here so that way you can see it all um in its entirety and that also it sort of makes it so you you know it stands out a lot more it stands out more than what it did with just for argument's sake that you know it and that it's it sort of gets lost within the within the white you can't really see it very well but then if you add the add the main black i've just put that in front of that hold on a second yeah so as i was saying before you know yeah that's uh coming through and now makes that a lot better you know it makes it more appealing you can see it better everything like that but uh what we're going to do now is we're going to group that and then we're also going to add something on top of that so i've got a logo here let's go ahead and throw this one on so this is a white logo just the normal sort of japanese sort of writing that i have here this actually says tokyo tunnels which is my crew if you guys didn't know already um like I say this is sort of a little bit bland you can't really see much of it but if we put it in black obviously it comes through a little bit better or a bit a bit of gray here but this is the sort of thing that I do but as you can see straight away that looks um, more appealing you can see it it looks good you know just sort of switching up the uh, sizes and everything like that but yeah now that that is sort of the way in which that I do things with the paint um, as you can see it sort of comes through and it looks good but what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and do the same thing what we did with the other one so we have a let's go with a let's go with a really dark gray or maybe hmm let's go with a slightly lighter shade than what we did have let's go with that and then we're going to do exactly the same thing again so we're going to stamp it and then change the color and we're going to put this color to like a, a so that color was just one below the white and then we're going to have two sections to the left like so and then we're going to go two sections to the right once again and then back left back up again that then brings out the top piece and then we're going to go down for four and then that'll bring out the bottom so you can, as you can see now it is now covering all of sides and we can see the inner writing much better than what we could before which again that just sort of brings out the uh, vinyl itself everything like that if you guys want to know how to do that that is how you do that um, but yeah once again very very simple like say I don't really like to uh, do anything sort of crazy with my designs just sort of keep it simple it looks good you know and it doesn't really need anything mad on it but now what I'm gonna show you is how to flip it to the other side I see this on cars all the time even in real life I, it, I see them like it, I see it happen and it's like I don't know, really know why they don't like put it right properly um, but what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna quickly grab a English set of writing as well to make it uh, make it a little bit easier to see I'm gonna go ahead and grab this this is gonna be easy right so this is just a load of logos that I've got made up here so HKS you know NOS rays everything like that in gen uh, we're gonna put that there for now um, but yeah, now this, uh, let's now let's copy all this. I'm gonna copy all that. So what people would do is they just go, sorry, they go over to the left side and then they'll go, ooh, insert all from left side and then that'll be it. That'll be that'll be it. Like they don't do anything else with that. But as you can see, um, the English writing here that we have, like the rays and the nos, everything like that, that is all back to front, and that is just it's just not right. You know, it's just not right. Um, when it comes to painting, you know, I like to keep it. Keep it so it looks good so you can read the writing and whatnot but this is how I do it so I what I do is I go ahead and copy from this side and then paste to the other side so as you can see now it is the right way around so now you can go ahead and put that exactly where you want it to be so just over the top here like so 
like I say, it's not fully correct because I haven't done this. So what I usually do is I put, put it in orange and then I'll be able to see exactly where I can line it up. So that way, now when we line it up, I think it should be where the engine is or the HKS. We'll go off the HKS. There you go. So went off the HKS. There you go. Stuck that like that. And now that should be in the correct place. But yeah, now that um, works exactly the same for the Japanese writing as well. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. Go over to the uh, left side, paste it. We're going to go and change. We're going to ungroup all this first. I usually get rid of all that because, like, when you have um, a big design with, like, you know, three, two thousand odd items or whatever, you know, you're going to have to get rid of your your uh, group stuff because otherwise it it will just say that you've capped it out and you can't use any more bloody blah, blah blah but so now that's orange and i've gotten rid of the mask stuff we can now go ahead the group stuff rather we can now go ahead and put that in there so it's roughly the same like so roughly the same hopefully that's the same <laughs> i'll do for now Go ahead, get rid of the other side, and there you go. There's all the writing in the correct uh, way you sh you would read it, and everything like that. With the um, like, say the the main shapes like this, you don't actually have to worry about that, as they will actually just you know go the right way, as you would like want to look at it anyway. So that isn't really a big issue. Um, what does become an issue though, I have noticed before, when you have a lot of layer groups on one side and then you flip it over to the other side, for some reason, some of the, uh, some of the layer groups, I'm just going to quickly show you now, some of the layer groups will like end up like this, like a little bit too high, which then you'll have to then go ahead and copy and paste it to both sides and then do it singularly, which will take a little bit longer. But, um, yeah, no, uh, Sometimes it does that, not all the time, but just like so you're aware of that, that is another thing that does happen, does tend to happen. All right, so that's the rear bumper, the front bumper, and both of the sides done, and also the roof. Um, one thing is to say as well, the wing, uh, you can paint it like this. You know, you can just go ahead and put that white, white block on here. That will paint it. But it's um, your safer bet is probably to go into the actual paint where you know you paint the whole car and then put, like do the wing and the uh, the mirrors everything like that separate. So for this car, obviously the mirrors are um, blacked out anyway, so that's not really much of an issue. But when you uh, have, for argument's sake, the S15, the S13 on both of my recent uh, you know uh, TTDM paints that I've done. Both of those have had different colored wing mirrors, which I've gone through at the end, which I did miss out on the S13 one, unfortunately. Uh, I'll go through the end and change the wing mirrors, the um, the wing, everything like that. That all gets changed, so it's the correct color. So you don't have to worry about that. All right, guys, so this is going to be the end of the video. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe button if you really enjoyed it. If you have any sort of questions about any of the designs, anything um, that you've seen on the channel, obviously, anything like that, be sure to hit me up in the comments down below. Um, anything you want, man, just let me know. If you want to know how to do certain things or do something within the paint, um, I'll try and make a video on it or whatever. Uh, but yeah, now thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.